I guess want to do something different and record a video response to our question this week just to mix it up and because I'm also kind of a geek. So question is, thank you, Josh. Explore the role feelings play in our current social and personal life in media and popular arts in church activities. Would you say that you are sometimes never or always controlled by your feelings? Uh, I think the obvious take is that feelings play the primary role in our social our social setting today. The question is always about what do you feel or what do you what do you want in your heart? Bria and I, I enjoy some reality TV shows, and one of those is Celebrity Apprentice. So you have already these uh, puffed up egos competing against each other, and it's so apparent in some scenes that all of them think that they are the center of the world. And when things do not go their way, they all throw fits, and it's just crazy because it's all about how they feel and what they want and their desires, and it's all you know around them. And it's kind of fun to watch grown adults uh, who are all been kind of pampered their whole life. Not all of them, but enough of them to make it interesting. And you see a kind of uh, over-exaggerated state of what I think our culture is in, is that it's all about us and what we want. Follow your heart. Follow your dream. You can do anything you feel like doing. Whatever you want to become, that can be it. And that's where people start. And I think the church is guilty of kind of absorbing that culture into our church culture. Um, You have a big view of uh, marketing your church. And as soon as you start marketing your church and advertising for your church and selling uh, the Christian experience in the same way that you might sell a product off of the shelf, you get what you aim for, and that is consumers. And the main part of advertising is getting people to feel something. In children's ministry, I see this a lot with curriculum. You market a curriculum, try to generate a a feeling about the product, the curriculum, and, and pretty soon you start getting this manufactured feel, but it looks great. If you open it up, it feels great. It, it's something that hits all these senses, but sometimes I wonder if these publishers aren't focusing more on the senses and the, the user experience than they are the actual spiritual content. I definitely am one who can be controlled by my feelings. I'm an emotional guy, and so I try to pull those feelings out from my relationship with Christ and not just not just base everything off of my emotional self. I get worked up, I get fired up, I get down, all these feelings. And I found over doing ministry for you know a couple of years that if I minister out of those feelings, then I'm just setting myself up for failure. I have to keep my eye on on what's important and not let myself be driven by feeling one way or the other. Because if I did that, I wouldn't be here right now. Because there's been many a time where this is not a job that felt good. Um, So that's kind of my take. Hope you guys don't mind the video. Just thought I'd mix it up a little bit.